Imagine drifting off to sleep and suddenly having a conversation with someone else who's asleep. Sounds like a scene from a sci-fi movie, right? But what if I told you that scientists have actually made it possible? Yes, you heard that right. Two people, both sound asleep, engaged in a real-time conversation. Let's dive into this mind-bending scientific breakthrough and unravel how it was even possible. Sleep has always been a mysterious frontier for scientists. We know it's crucial for our health and that dreams often take us on bizarre adventures, but what if we could actually communicate during sleep? Recently, researchers have taken a bold step toward decoding the language of sleep by enabling two people, in a state of deep slumber, to talk to each other. This wasn't your typical sleep talking either. It was a two-way exchange, almost like having a dream phone call. The key to making this happen lies in a stage of sleep known as REM, or rapid eye movement sleep. During REM, our brains are highly active and most of our vivid dreams occur. Scientists found that in this phase, the brain is still capable of receiving external stimuli, meaning it can hear and even respond to questions. To test this, the researchers used a fascinating method known as two-way communication in lucid dreaming. In lucid dreaming, the person is aware they're dreaming and can even control the dream to some extent. The scientists trained the participants to recognize cues given to them while they were asleep. These cues were simple questions or signals such as tapping sounds or flashes of light, which the participants could respond to using prearranged eye movements or facial expressions, and that's when the real magic happened. So how did scientists manage to connect two dreaming minds? Here's where things get really intriguing. The participants, placed in separate rooms, were put to sleep and monitored using EEG machines to track their brain waves. Once they entered the REM stage, researchers began prompting them with simple questions through auditory signals, like asking them to solve basic math problems or identify familiar sounds. The participants, even while asleep, responded through eye movements or subtle facial expressions that were decoded in real time. And in an unprecedented experiment, the researchers introduced a twist, posing questions to one sleeping person and letting their response influence the questions sent to the other sleeper. It was as if one dreaming mind was directly talking to the other. Truly groundbreaking. Not only did the sleepers understand the questions directed at them, but their responses were coherent enough to sustain a rudimentary conversation. While these conversations were far from what we'd have when fully awake, the fact that meaningful interaction happened during sleep was a giant leap in the field of neuroscience. The participants later reported that the communication felt like part of their dreams, some felt they were talking to a character in their dream, not realizing they were actually conversing with another person in a separate room. The lines between dream and reality blurred, showing that sleep is more than just an unconscious state, it's a dynamic and interactive space. This experiment raises an array of fascinating possibilities. Could we one day learn new information while we sleep? Could therapists communicate with patients undergoing dream therapy, or maybe even send messages across sleep as a form of secure communication? However, it's important to note that we are still in the early stages of understanding sleep communication. While the experiment was successful, it required controlled conditions, extensive training, and limited types of questions. But who knows? With advancing technology, we might be able to send more complex messages or even talk back and forth in a shared dreamscape. The idea of two people having a conversation while asleep sounds like a tale out of fantasy, yet it's a reality that science is beginning to unfold. As researchers delve deeper into the mystery of sleep, we might find ourselves on the cusp of not only understanding dreams, but also using them as a tool to connect with each other in ways we've never imagined. So, the next time you close your eyes to sleep, remember, you might just end up having a chat with someone else in their dreams. Imagine waking up one day to find that the familiar night sky looks entirely different, with constellations shifted and even the moon seeming out of place. What if Earth wasn't where it is now, but located on the opposite side of the sun? How would our world change and could life as we know it survive? Today we'll dive into the fascinating scenario of what would happen if Earth were positioned on the other side of the sun. Let's explore how this shift in location would affect our planet's climate, seasons, and even the night sky. If Earth were directly on the opposite side of the Sun, it would orbit in the same path but experience a complete reversal of seasons. When it's winter in the Northern Hemisphere now, it would be summer there instead. Imagine celebrating Christmas with warm beach weather or facing cold, snowy days in the middle of July. This would dramatically affect agriculture, wildlife, and even cultural traditions that rely on seasonal changes. 
Being on the other side of the sun would also alter our view of the stars. The constellations we see would be completely different, and familiar sights like Orion or the Big Dipper might not be visible at all for part of the year. Stargazing would become a whole new experience, and even the moon's appearance could change due to the altered angle of sunlight hitting it. But what about our neighboring planets? Interestingly, Earth's relocation wouldn't disrupt the orbits of other planets like Mars or Jupiter, they'd still follow their own paths. However, since we'd be closer to different parts of the solar system throughout the year, space missions and exploration might face new challenges. Imagine trying to land a rover on Mars when it's further away than we're used to. The big question is, would life still thrive? Thankfully, the sun's energy would remain consistent, and Earth's temperature wouldn't change drastically. However, ecosystems could be disrupted due to the sudden seasonal shifts. Animals that migrate or hibernate might struggle to adapt, and plants could face challenges with their growth cycles. In the end, relocating Earth to the other side of the sun would bring about significant changes in our daily lives from reverse seasons and unfamiliar star patterns to potential challenges for wildlife and space exploration. While it's a fascinating thought experiment, it serves as a reminder of how perfectly positioned our planet is for life to flourish. So what do you think? Would you be ready to face a new reality on the other side of the sun? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more mind-bending scenarios.